hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel if you are new here welcome to the family and if you're an existing subscriber thank you for always coming back for this tutorial we'll be making an ankara turban that stretches and for this we need our ankara fabric we need lining we need chalk we need needle and thread we need our rule and of course Pro. lest i forget we need an elastic band so let's get right to this tutorial i'm using a bridal satin for this work because i want my turban to be thick so i'm not using the regular lining but you can use the regular lining my measurement is 32 inches length this way by 32 inches width so i cut out my fabric 32 by 32 i also cut out my lining same measurement which is 32 by 32 and i'm going to sew all four corners of my fabric i'm going to sew my lining and my fabric together like this so i sew all the edges of my fabric and my lining together like this and this is what i have the next thing I'm going to do is with my rule, I'm going to mark two inches on both ends of my fabric this way. I'm going to mark two inches at the middle also. This is to help connecting the lines be easy as my rule is, as my fabric is actually more than the measurement on my rule. So I'm going to draw two inch, mark out two inches at both ends of my fabric and at the middle like this and with my rule i'm going to connect the lines like this i'm also going to after connecting the lines i'm going to repeat the process again so after ruling the first line i will repeat the process come down mark out two inches at both ends of my fabric this place come to the middle mark out two inches come to the end and mark two inches and with my rule i'm going to connect the lines like that so i'm basically going to be repeating this process till i get to the very end of my fabric so i would go over again come Mark out two inches, rule it out, mark out two inches and rule. I'm basically just drawing straight lines on my fabric, okay? And you can decide to make it whatever inches you deem fit. You can make it one and a half, you can make it three, but two is preferable, especially when you're working with Ankara. Now I am done marking out two inches and drawing straight lines i'm just going to go ahead and sew by quarter an inch on the lines or you can have the lines in between your stitches so i'm going to fold repeat the process till i get to the end of my fabric i'm going to sew on the lines this is what it looks like when you're done sewing so i'm done sewing here and this is what i have I have sewn on the lines until I got to the end and this is what the front of my fabric looks like I've been able to create the fold that I want so I'm just going to keep this fabric aside and we're going to get to working on our band now for a band I have two fabrics cut out same measurement which is 10 inches length 10 inches length actually 10 inches length by 4 inches width and I cut out two of it yeah so the next thing I'll do is fold my fabric into two this way both fabrics into two and then I'm going to place them on each other like this just to create a T okay so i have my v shape already so you're going to place it like a t and you have your v shape at the middle so once i'm done i'm going to sew just these areas these areas that i'm pointing 
I'm done sewing that area and this is what I have as you can see I have my V band I'm going to keep this aside I'm just going to keep this aside and work on my elastic now for this I cut out my fabric and the measurement of this fabric is actually 10 inches 10 inches length and the width is three and a half inches okay so and my elastic is three inches so you can work with whatever three inches basically i'm going to fold my fabric into two this way and sew on it after sewing this is what i have and i'm going to turn my fabric inside out like this turn to the good face I'm done turning it. The next thing I will do is insert my elastic using my safety pin. I always say this that using a safety pin to insert whatever it is you want to insert into your fabric makes it easy as you can always pull it out using your safety pin. So I have inserted my elastic into my fabric and I am just going to sew on the ends where my elastic stops on the ends my fabric i'm going to sew on both ends i'm going to sew it i'm done sewing it and this is what i have i've sewn the edges and i'm just going to keep this aside now let's go over to connecting our band to our fabric i'll fold my fabric into two this way i'll fold my fabric into two this way and i will notch the midpoint this is to enable connecting the band easy i will notch the midpoint of the fabric and i would open up my fabric like this to get the middle i'm sure you can see the midpoint after doing that i'm going to connect the v part of my band on that midpoint this way i'm sure you're going to have a little bit of excess you can always trim that off so you're just going to connect your band. You can use your safety pin to hold it at the middle. And then you would sew the band like this on both sides. You would sew the band, attach the band to your fabric. So I am done sewing my band, as you can see. I'm done sewing. And the excess I have at the middle, I have cut it out. And I have my V shape. This is what the front of my turban looks like this is what the band looks like okay now that i'm done the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to fold my fabric this way i'm going to fold it this way these sides of my fabric and sew on it you would understand why this is necessary as we progress so i'm just going to fold it by half an inch and sew on it i'm done sewing it I'm done sewing the edges just after the band and the next thing I want to do is attach my elastic to my band okay and so I'm going to put open up my band this way I'm going to open up my band this way and attach my elastic I'm just going to attach the edge of the elastic into the band after doing it i'll fold my band inside by half an inch this is just to ensure that i have a neat sewing seam okay clean stitches i don't want the edges showing so i'll fold my band in by quarter or half an inch and then i'm going to sew my elastic and my band together this way I'm done sewing. I'm going to take the other edge this way. I'm going to take the other edge and insert it to the other end of my band. Just I'm going I'm basically going to be repeating the same process I did the first time. Insert my elastic into the band and fold in the band by quarter an inch. After folding by quarter an inch, I'm just going to sew. So I'm done sewing, guys, and this is what we have.
really stretchy as you can see so guys with my tape roll i'm going to mark two inches from my band i'll leave an opening of two inches from my band i'm going to mark it and i'll start sewing from the two inches marked point like this down to the end of my fabric okay so i'm going to sew it i am done sewing as you can see i have sewn from that mark point the next thing i'm going to do is using my needle and thread I would start from here to sew loose, loose stitches, loose stitches, I beg your pardon, till I get to the end of my fabric. Okay, I'm going to sew loose stitches this way and stop, I'll stop here. I'll tie it firmly. This is actually very necessary and after tying it i'm going to repeat the process i'll go back again into all of the places i have sewn just to ensure i have a firmer and tighter sewing after doing that this is what we're going to have now i'm going to do the same thing from the top of my turban to the band area i'm not going to be getting to the band okay i'm going to just be stopping like one inch before my band this way so i'll sew loose stitches also with my needle and thread i will sew these loose stitches like this you would want to um sew on the lines like just take your needles just so that you can have a well arranged um folding but basically sew loose stitches tight and then repeat the process again just so that your stitches can be firmer and tighter after doing that you tie thoroughly and then this is what we have after time okay now let's see our turban is ready let's see what it looks like when we turn it to the good face yeah our turban is ready this is what we have we have it neatly and nicely done as you can see this is what the back looks like look at the stretchy part of the turban this is why the little hole was necessary yeah this is what we have this is our turban i'm sure that you like this you can go ahead as well to embe embellish this whichever way you want you can add fa fabric flowers you can just do whatever it is you want ruffles thank you so much guys this is what our finished turban looks like thank you so much for your time if you find this video helpful please hit the subscribe button and share